school shootings, suicides. The pandemic has, has created a environment where people are lonely. People are more sad. They're disconnected. So you're seeing suicides rise. You're seeing homicides on the rise. You're seeing domestic violence on the rise. And, and that, I feel, is uh, because there's such a fear of seeking treatment. And there's a lot of stigma behind mental illness. People don't want to talk about it. Um, in America, you have to be strong. I put a gun to my head uh, about, about 13 months after um, my open heart surgery, and I was under the influence uh, of alcohol and opiates. Absolutely, there's a place for conventional pharmacotherapeutics. However, let's strive to minimize the use of pharma pharmacotherapeutics where possible. And if we have to use them, let's use as few as possible in the lowest effective doses as possible for the shortest period of time possible. As a first world country, we've only now caught up to a therapeutic modality that has been mainstream in a second world country for centuries. I am on a mission to help people be the best versions of themselves, to help them maximize their full potential. I think it's good that as a whole, everyone can get some type of help from a professional to help us deal with our anger, our anxiety, our depression. Losing my son, um, I felt very numb. I just felt that I was lost that God forsaken me, that God had left me. Dear mental health, I can't do this by myself. I'm not rude, I'm not well. I don't wish everyone to hell. I just get scared when the topic turns to help. I don't feel important. Depression in my mind, poison in my blood, anxiety in my heart, while inside I'm screaming for my love. I have no self-esteem, and what they see is just a front. I'm always on the run, but I never know what from. People who relate, I hope that they're okay. I hope that we find a path and find our way. So I say today is the day to not look away, to not be afraid. I am okay. I am not broken but whole. I can breathe the air. Thank you for those that remembered the forgotten healthcare.